In this open shot video editing tutorial we will show you a very simple and quick way to edit a sequence of video clips. Before importing any video clips into OpenShot you'll first need to set it up so that when you render your video you render it to the format that you want to use i.e. the codecs um, that you're rendering to. So first of all before doing anything else just go to the top of the screen look for the button that says edit left click on this and then left click preferences ignore all this palaver here and just left click on profiles now I've got this set up as default profile HD 1080p 25 frames per second if you left click on the little arrow You'll get all these options come up high definition dvd pal loads of them anyway you'll need to decide which one you're going to use so i'm going to just change mine to hd 1080p 50 frames per second just as an example okay now when i close this it'll ask please restart open shop for a preferences to take effect. I'm just going to left click OK. Now what, what will happen here is it won't change anything as far as I'm concerned because I'm going to still be rendering it um, 1080p 25 frames per second so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to actually close this down. You'll need to close it down if you've changed it and reopen um, open shot again okay right that's the boring bit out of the way okay let's import some videos you pointer in the project files box you can right click and left click import files and literally go through your folders until you find the ones you want or as most people do actually go into your file browser and then you can literally I don't know, go through your files until you get to the one that you want to use. Now I've actually dumped some into a folder already, but okay. So I'm going to use these um, five MTS files here. So I'll select those three there and these three, two here, and drag them into this project file box. Close this down. Okay. Now what I'm going to do instead of actually importing these into the timeline, track four or three, you'll find if you're using large files, it's very difficult to edit um, on a slower computer, um, and it's not. You don't really need to do it. What you what you want to do is your first clip. Just right click on it, then left click split clip. And this will bring up this viewing box here. Now you can play your video. Now I know this video goes on forever. I'll just stop here and then kill the sound so I don't pick it up on the uh, microphone. Okay. So. I'm going to stop it there. This is this green button. And I'm going to left click on start. And play the video now. And like all things, wait till it gets to a certain point. OK, we're coming around. And. left click there, stop it there, and then I'm going to left click on end. Now if I left click create, I'll have another copy of the first one up here. Close this box down, drag this into my timeline using my left mouse button. Make sure the magnet's selected as well, this means that everything you do snaps to the edge. Okay, 
so let's just play this yeah that's good enough for what we want okay right click on your next clip left click split clip and let's play this one okay start it there carry on he's coming to the end stop end so you're left clicking on start end and then left click create new one new copy up here drag this one down Plop. let's just play this through fat let's just drag this marker over very carefully you'll get a lack and a delay unfortunately there isn't any real way of using proxy clips in uh, open shot okay that'll do and again right click your next uh, video clip then left click split clip and again I'm gonna play this stop it there left click on start play the video clip till I'm happy obviously you will take more time doing this than I am stop it there end and again left click create close the box down drag this into the timeline now you can change the length of these clips if you want um, probably easier actually to go back and create a new um, sort of copy but if you want to do it in timeline you can you have to give yourself a bit of space drag this out and the next one out and then you can just drag the edge either the end or the beginning and uh, drag this back till it snaps and again like that and when it catches up with itself you'll end up with a longer clip on the middle one okay that's just uh, as a footnote hopefully you should get this right before you actually bring it in the timeline okay right click and left click on the next one let's play this wobbly start in fact I know this goes a bit wrong start it there so we'll start it there left click on start and And all the way down stop it there and then end if you want to clear these all you need to do is just press clear and you can start again this button here called clear okay right click on create copies up there drag this beauty into here and I'll do one more so right click on the last one left click split, split clip let's have a look what we got oh, this goes on for ages okay so we'll start it here start and end there left click create and drag this one into the timeline as well okay now that should give us something to render I know this is a very basic um, I haven't gone into any more details and just editing a few clips um, if anybody wants some help with this one by all means leave me a message
as a footnote I tend to use Caden Live or find it um, a better video editor because you can use proxy clips um, which I won't go into the details here but they're a lot easier to edit and it's looking good I think yeah let's run it to the end make sure it's fine That's good. Okay. Render. Red button at the top. Left click on it. It says export video. Browse. Decide where you're going to save your video. For a convenient, I'm going to drop it on my desktop. Um, give it a title. I don't know. That'll do. And everything set up oh yeah quality as well you'll get options in quality low medium I always go high that's about all you need to do and just left click export the video and go away and make a cup of tea while it renders I'll come back to this after it's finished rendering okay well this is finished rendering now so hopefully we should have a video clip in high definition and jobs a good one looking pretty good okay any of these you can change if before you uh, render it's quite easy you can remove a clip um, by left clicking on it then remove clip and you can go back in and re-alter your video length if you want you don't want to split these you can remove them from the project if you want and like I said before go back and re-edit it I'm not going to go into great details it is quite simple it's an easy quick way to video edit if you want to do a more complicated video editing um, so I said before I suggest using Caden Live or even Blender's video editor tutorials on that on these can be found in my playlists um, harder to get your head around but um, possibly worth doing if you want to go to more advanced video editing but just for editing simple clips this is as good as it gets I think um, that's all there is to it really thank you for watching cheers